President Biden admitting today he's been fooled by AI deep fakes of himself as he signed what he called the most significant action on AI safety of any government anywhere. Julie Watts is getting answers on how his new AI executive order impacts you and me. Yet today's executive order doesn't impact us much directly, at least not yet, because in reality, there's only so far the president can go without legislation from lawmakers, which has many looking to California to lead the way legislatively. And in the meantime, this executive order does take some significant first steps. From the cover of Time to AI models on the cover of Vogue and feature after feature on 60 Minutes. Godfather of AI. AI is everywhere, and a lot of people have a lot of concerns. Executive order, safe, secure, and trustworthy development of the use of artificial intelligence. President Biden's new AI executive order builds on the voluntary commitments of tech leaders like Amazon, Google, Meta, and Microsoft made after a meeting with the president and Governor Newsom in the Bay Area earlier this year. The CEOs of American companies foremost involved in AI development. Biden's order now requires AI developers to share safety test results with the feds before releasing products to the public. They're also supposed to notify the government if their AI may pose a public risk. Creates an advanced cybersecurity program to detect vulnerabilities and a national security memo on the military's use of AI. The executive order also includes best practices to minimize the risk of AI taking our jobs. Now, with gridlock in Washington, many believe California may be taking the next steps towards AI legislation because when it comes to tech and sweeping legislation, as goes California, often goes the country. And of course, much of this technology is being developed right here in Northern California, where we saw some of the first AI-related legislation introduced earlier this year.